Welcome to the global defense battle. The S-400 Triumph is a Russian long-range surface-to-air missile system developed by Almaz Central Design Bureau, now part of Almazanti. It was designed to replace older systems like the S-200 and S-300 series. Development began in the early 1980s, with the system entering service in April 2007. The S-400's primary purpose is to detect and destroy various aerial threats, including aircraft, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. Its development aimed to enhance Russia's air defense capabilities against modern threats. On the other hand, the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense called NTHAD is an American anti-ballistic missile system developed by Lockheed Martin. Initiated in 1992, THAAD was designed to intercept and destroy short, medium, and intermediate-range ballistic missiles during their terminal phase, either inside or just outside the atmosphere. Unlike traditional explosive warheads, THAAD interceptors use kinetic energy to directly hit and neutralize incoming missiles. The system became operational in 2008, providing the U.S. and its allies with a mobile and rapidly deployable defense against missile threats. And today, we will compare both of these systems, Russia's S-400 versus United States THAAD system. So, let's start. As always, talking about the design first, the S-400's components include launch vehicles, command posts, and radar systems. The launch vehicles, such as the 5P85 TE2, are typically mounted on heavy-duty 8 into 8 wheel trucks, providing mobility across different terrains. Each launcher can carry up to four missiles, with the system supporting multiple missile types to engage targets at varying ranges. The S-400's radar systems are capable of detecting stealth aircraft and other targets at all altitudes of their combat employment and at maximum ranges. On the other hand, the THAAD's battery includes interceptors, launchers, a radar unit, a fire control unit, and support equipment. The launchers are mounted on Oshkosh M1120HEM TT8 into eight trucks, each carrying up to eight interceptors. The ANTPY2 radar system provides high-resolution tracking of incoming threats, enabling precise targeting. The THAAD interceptor is approximately 6.17 meters long and weighs around 900 kilograms. Overall, both systems are mobile and designed for rapid deployment. Their specific roles and design elements reflect their unique operational purposes. Talking specifically about range and altitude, the S-400 Triumph has a maximum range of up to 400 kilometers and can intercept targets at altitudes ranging from 10 meters to 30 kilometers. The system's radar can detect targets up to 600 kilometers away, allowing for early threat identification. The S-400 can track up to 80 targets simultaneously and engage up to 36 of them at once, launching multiple missiles to counter several threats simultaneously. On the other hand, the THAAD has an engagement range of approximately 150 to 200 kilometers and can intercept targets at altitudes up to 150 kilometers. THAAD's radar system provides high-resolution tracking, enabling rapid detection and engagement of incoming threats. Regarding launchers and missiles, as we saw before, the S-400 Triumph system employs mobile launchers, such as the 5P85 TE2 and 5P85 SE2, mounted on 8 into 8 trucks for high mobility. Each launcher carries up to four missiles and can fire various types to create a layered defense. The primary missiles include the 48 N6 series, with ranges up to 250 kilometers, and the 40 N6 missile, capable of reaching 400 kilometers. These missiles can engage targets at altitudes up to 30 kilometers, effectively countering aircraft, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. On the other hand, the THAAD system features truck-mounted launchers, each equipped with up to eight interceptors. THAAD uses a single type of interceptor missile designed for hit-to-kill engagements, destroying targets through direct impact without an explosive warhead. These interceptors can engage both inside and outside the atmosphere, with a range of approximately 200 kilometers and a maximum intercept altitude of 150 kilometers. Overall, each system's launcher configuration and missile types are tailored to their specific defense roles, reflecting their unique operational objectives. Regarding guidance system, the S-400 Triumph employs a combination of guidance systems to accurately intercept various aerial threats. It utilizes inertial navigation for initial guidance, with mid-course updates provided by ground-based radar systems. In the terminal phase, the missile switches to semi-active radar homing, where it homes in on radar signals reflected from the target. This multi-stage guidance approach enhances the system's accuracy. The S-400's missiles are designed to be maneuverable during flight, 
using aerodynamic control surfaces and thrust vectoring to adjust their trajectory and effectively engage moving or evasive targets. On the other hand, the THAAD system employs a sophisticated guidance system to intercept ballistic missiles during their terminal phase. It uses an inertial navigation system for initial flight control, transitioning to an indium antimonide imaging infrared seeker in the terminal phase to home in on the target. THAAD interceptors are highly maneuverable, utilizing a divert and attitude control system powered by hydrazine thrusters. This system allows for precise adjustments in flight path, enabling the interceptor to collide directly with the incoming missile, a method known as hit to kill. This kinetic impact approach ensures the destruction of the target without the need for an explosive warhead. Overall, these guidance and maneuverability features are crucial to the effectiveness of both systems in neutralizing airborne threats. Talking specifically about the radars, S-400 Triumph utilizes a sophisticated radar suite, including the 91N6E Big Bird Acquisition Radar and the 92N6E Gravestone Engagement Radar to detect and track aerial threats. The 91N6E can detect targets up to 600 kilometers away, providing early warning and target information. The 92N6E radar guides missiles to their targets with high precision. The system is controlled through a command post that processes data from these radars, coordinating the engagement of multiple targets simultaneously. The S-400 operates with a high level of automation, allowing for rapid response to threats. While primarily designed for air defense, the S-400 is not intended to counter enemy artillery fire. However, it can engage certain types of missiles. It can also be integrated with electronic warfare assets for enhanced capabilities. On the other hand, the THAAD system employs the ANTPY-2 radar, an X-band radar capable of detecting and tracking ballistic missiles at long ranges. In forward-based mode, it detects missiles after launch, while in terminal mode, it guides interceptors toward descending missiles. The THAAD system includes a fire control and communication unit that processes radar data and coordinates the launch of interceptors. THAAD operates with a high degree of automation, enabling quick engagement of threats. It is specifically designed to intercept ballistic missiles and is not intended to counter enemy artillery fire. THAAD does not have capabilities to disrupt enemy radar and communication systems, as its primary function is missile defense. Overall, neither system is designed to counter enemy artillery fire or disrupt radar and communication systems, as their primary missions focus on air and missile defense. Regarding mobility, the S-400 is mounted on 8 into 8 wheel trucks, allowing for swift movement and setup. This mobility enables the S-400 to be repositioned quickly in response to emerging threats or changing tactical situations. The system can be made operational in approximately 5 minutes, facilitating prompt readiness. Regarding crew protection, the vehicles are equipped with basic armor to shield personnel from small arms fire and shrapnel, though they are not designed to withstand direct hits from heavy weaponry. On the other hand, the THAAD system is also designed for high mobility. Its launchers are mounted on Oshkosh M1120 heavy expanded mobility tactical trucks, which are 8 into 8 wheeled vehicles known for their off-road capabilities. This configuration allows THAAD units to be transported and deployed rapidly across various terrains. The system's design emphasizes quick setup and teardown, enhancing its operational flexibility. Crew cabins provide limited armor protection, primarily against small arms fire and shrapnel, similar to the S-400. Overall, in terms of mobility, both the systems are designed for rapid deployment and flexibility. Regarding cost, a standard S-400 battalion, comprising 8 launchers and 32 missiles, is estimated to cost around $200 million. The cost per missile varies based on type and capability. On the other hand, the THAAD system is estimated to cost between $800 million and $1.13 billion. The interceptors are priced at approximately $12.6 million per missile as of fiscal year 2017. The high costs are attributed to the system's sophisticated radar technology, hit-to-kill interceptors, and extensive research and development efforts. The S-400 Triumph system has been produced in significant numbers since its induction in 2007. It is deployed across various regions in Russia, including Moscow and the Kaliningrad Exclave, to protect critical assets and airspace. The S-400 has also been exported to countries such as China, India, and Turkey, enhancing their air defense capabilities. On the other hand, the THAAD system has seen the production of multiple batteries since its operational deployment in 2008. As of October 1, 2023, the Missile Defense Agency had delivered 799 operational THAAD interceptors to the U.S. Army and foreign military sales customers. 
Thad batteries are deployed in locations such as Guam and South Korea to defend against ballistic missile threats. The system has been exported to allies, including the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia, to bolster their missile defense capabilities. In summary, the Russian S-400 and the U.S. THAAD represent two of the most advanced air defense systems in the world, each designed with unique purposes and capabilities. Which system do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.